and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my hygiene routine. And I think something I always get from my friends is that I always smell good. And it wasn't that way years ago. I had to go through mistakes in that department in order to learn the hard way. Okay, I have to warn you at the beginning, this is a very girly talk kind of video, so try to bear with me that. So the very first thing I always do is I shower daily. Taking a quick shower daily makes a whole lot of difference. It's going to make you feel fresh and clean. And for that, you have to use a shower gel. The shower gel I always use are the antibacterial ones. I tried before several ones from Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret and so on. They're really nice, but I don't feel the same feeling when I wash my body with an antibacterial one because this kills bacteria and wipes it away and keeps you fresh and really nice. So um, I've tried before the toll, but I prefer the light boy one. I always use this Morocco type of Lufa. It's If you have sensitive skin, this might not work for you, but it's like a glove. You put your hands inside of it and you just scrub everything. And this exfoliates your skin, uh, leading on to, uh, to, to re uh, removing all the dead skin and all of the residue from perfumes and stuff and creams. You want to remove all that and it removes the bacteria too. The second thing that will help you be hygienically proofed and clean is removing all the body hair. I know some people don't like that, but for me, it's very gross to see the hair on my body. And that's why I prefer shaving on anything else. So what I do is I usually shave once a week, which is enough because my hair growth doesn't go more than that. And I use Gillette Native Breeze. Um, here's that eraser. And with it, I use also the gel. Uh, using both keeps me clean and also prevents me from having any scars uh, or any bruises. And it's awesome. Um, by removing the hair, you remove anything that could uh, help the bacteria to grow. I usually remove the hair while I'm in the shower. After the shower, what I usually do is I start from uh, I start with hydrating. So I start with hydrating my skin with a lotion. I usually use an unscented one. I usually use one that is hydrating. That's why I use the Vaseline one. I just put it all over my hands, all over my legs, on my neck, and what I spray from the back. I just try to hydrate in order to create a base for any sense of benefit. And then I start from bottom to top and I powder the area. And now I'm using this Fence Fresh powder. But before uh, that, the one I always use is the Baby Johnson one for babies. Uh, you know when they change diapers for babies, for babies they usually put baby powder because it's good. It's good for the friction between the pampers and the skin of the baby and such. So putting the baby powder is better for your skin if you have sensitive skin. And this is also good. I just use that in order to prevent the sweating, and this really prevents sweating in that department. And then I put um, a daily pad. This is the one I'm using, Carefree. This is how it looks. You just put it on the liner, on the panty liner, and that keeps your underwear clean and it keeps you feeling fresher. And then after that, I wear my underwear and I go on and fresh spray deodorant all over the area, but without touching the skin of my bikini area because this area is very sensitive and you want to keep it from having any sprays on it. But I spray the underwear on it to keep the underwear from smelling bad to my underarms area. What I do is I use a roll on deodorant. This is one uh, for black and white shirts uh, because they don't like one day skin shirts. I use the roll on and then I go on and with the same spray deodorant, spray my whole entire body in order to prevent even if I make any excess moves or anything I'm moving that day more than usual. And I sweat. I don't smell with the sweating, if you get what I mean. After doing that, I get half dressed. And then I go on and I spray on a body splash just to start smelling good. So, the next department that usually you smell uh, bad is the mouth. So the very first thing I would recommend is choosing the right brush. I always believe in the Oral-B toothbrushes. And I also recommend you get one with an, uh, a tongue scrubber in order to clean your tongue. And choosing the toothpaste is also something important. I usually uh, choose one that whitens the teeth and also it has a mental um, kind of 
smell in order to make my odor smell better. You should do that twice a day when you wake up in the morning and before going to sleep. If you still face an issue, although you do that, you should use a mouthwash. Uh, what I do is I use this after every meal. And the next trick I did was I bought a old Bath & Body Works sanitizer bottle. I emptied it out and cleaned it and put some mouthwash in it or to have it all, always in my bag. And yeah, for the feet, I think if you just uh, shower daily, put lotion on your feet, that would be enough. But also wear new clothes and new socks every time. That will keep it from uh, that will keep your feet from smelling. But if you still have an issue with it, use food powder uh, with a mint scent. That will keep your feet from smelling for like forever. And um, sometimes when I know that certain shoes give me bad smells, or I'm gonna use the shoes for like the whole day and I don't want to smell, I spray my feet with deodorant and it works wonders. Never wear things more than twice. Maximum two times and then you put it in the laundry because not the scent but the bacteria. The clothes has bacteria anyway. It's from the environment and from you. So more than two times is a bit gross even if the smell still smells okay. Even if the clothes still smell okay. Do your laundry and if you're interested to know how I do mine let me know in the comments below because I have special ways and tricks for that. If you want to know any routines like my face Care routine, hair routine, whatever routine, let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked the video. I had no one to tell me what to do back then, and I had to know my mistakes. And I don't want you to follow the same road, so I'm trying to spread the message. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Subscribe for the support of the channel. Bye bye.